Good morning and what's up BHS? I'm Chris Coleco. And I'm Sam Lillian. It's October 9th and we are back with another episode of BHS TV. Let's start this morning off with our school fight song. Stand up and sing along. For anyone looking for volunteer opportunity. Or for anyone that loves nature, here's a segment about the volunteer opportunities at Citizens for Conservation. Hey BHS, I'm Vincent Murphal reporting from Flint Creek, Savannah with Emma Landenberger to learn more about Citizens for Conservation. So Emma, what do you do here? I'm the high school liaison with Citizens for Conservation, so that means I'm connecting this community group with high school students at Barrington. And what does Citizens for Conservation do? We restore native lands to their natural state, so either a prairie, wetland, bog, or a forested area using native plants and removing invasive species. Now I'm here with Kevin Shywar. What do you do here? I'm the restoration manager for Citizens for Conservation. So what I do is I create the restoration management plans and help to rebuild the habitat across all the different prairies, savannas, and woodlands here uh, and CFC. We also work with the Lake County and Cook County uh, Forest Preserves to help restore their areas as well to create more prairies throughout the entire Barrington region. Now how can other students get involved? Well right now is actually a really important time of year. Uh, we are doing a lot of seed collecting. Um, so what that entails is just collecting seeds off plants like right behind us here. And what we do is we use these seeds to help start new prairie restorations throughout the area. We have work days every Thursday and Saturday mornings from 9 to 11, as well as Sunday afternoons from 3.30 to 5 p.m. Now I'm here with Larry and Glada to learn more. So what do you do for Citizens for Conservation? Hi, thanks for having us today. Uh, my job is uh, to coordinate the college and high school interns that we uh, host every year. We have a paid program for both of those and we've hosted a number of uh, Barrington High School seniors and juniors over the years. I also helped coordinate the uh, Joe Cragen Environmental Scholarship with CFC, which is a $20,000 uh, college scholarship that we uh, uh, produce every year from here. So. And I work with the restoration on a daily basis, and uh, I've been in to share some of our uh, doings uh, with the environmental science classes at BHS. How was this organization founded? It started as a, as a way to save open space, and uh, once they saved open spaces, they realized that most of these open spaces should have contained prairie back 150 years ago and uh, most of it has disappeared and so now we're trying to replant all these prairies in our properties. So currently we own 12 properties that encompass about 500 acres and then we're also contributing to some of the forest preserve restorations uh, which is about another 16,000 acres in our area. I'm Vincent Murfeld at Flint Creek Savannah. Now back to the studio. Thanks Vincent. Have you tried the new coffee bar Sam? I have. It's really good. I'll have to try it out sometime. Let's hear what Kate has to say about it. Hi, I'm Kate Kibbe, and last week I had the opportunity to find out more about the school's new coffee bar. So let's go check it out. So what's your name? Uh, my name is Martin Wasson. And what are you most excited to try for this coffee bar? I would say the Frappuccino. Um, reading the menu, I didn't know most of the kinds of drinks on there, but I'm definitely a Frappuccino guy. What is your opinion on the school integrating a coffee bar? Um, I think it's a good thing. Like, caffeine is like really good in my opinion. I kind of need it in everyday life. So when does this coffee bar open? So our coffee bar will be open Monday through Friday from 7.30 until 4.30 in the afternoon, um, and we're doing a ribbon cutting on Monday awesome. morning, and from then on about 10, 11 in the morning we'll be open starting Monday. Uh, what's the best thing on the menu? Um, so some of our most popular items are things like our frappes, which are very, um, we an Oreo frappe, caramel frappe, um, we do caramel macchiatos, lattes, um, but those Coffee isn't the only thing we do. Um, we have milkshakes, smoothies, um, and then lots of different pastry options and food options. Cool. 
What's your favorite? Um, so my favorite is our strawberry banana smoothie. Nice. And what's cool about where the coffee comes from? So a little bit of history on the coffee. Um, Quest Food Service does own the coffee. Uh, uh, we are part of a co-op out in Columbia. It's an all-female operated co-op. It's operated and managed all by females. Um, we import the coffee from Columbia. And we have one of our brands that uh, 40, per, 40 cents of all sales go right back into the rainforest in Columbia. I hope you guys enjoyed finding out more about the new coffee bar. And I hope the extra caffeine gets you through the week amazingly. <laughs> back to you in the studio. If you ever had an interest in working with therapy dogs, mini horses, and maybe even a moose, then this is the club for you. Here is a segment I'm Soul Buddies. I'm Bella Rada, and today I'm going to be interviewing some members from the Soul Buddies Animal Therapy Club. Let's go see what it's all about. What's your name? I'm Alaria Toulouse. Why did you get involved with Soul Buddies? Um, well, I saw the dog, well, Dudley here, um, at school one day. And, um, you know, this, this club is really fun, so I joined. Could you show us some tricks? Yeah, there's sit, heel, um, lie down, and hug. What's your favorite part of Soul Buddies? Working with the animals and the people. That's like the greatest part, I think. How can you join? Well, we meet every Thursday after school, and we meet here at the high school with the dogs. We visit in the community the first Thursday of every month, and we also work at Soul Harbor Ranch, which is in Barrington. Make sure to check out the Soul Buddies Animal Therapy Club every Thursday after school. Now, back to the studio! Hey Sam, what's our next segment? I do not know, Chris. We will find out together. So let's get down to business. I called you here today for a very specific reason. You have gifts that make you stand out from the rest. I believe you can put those gifts to good use. So now imagine a scenario, any scenario. Ancient Egypt. Medieval. Sorcery. Jail. Pirate. Zombie. We think you can escape at Escape in Time Barrington. I think BHS students should know that Escape in Time is just a great place to go with your friends, whether it be after school one day or on a weekend. Any time is just a great time to go in here for an hour, see if you can escape the room, and just have a great experience all together. So the thing that sets Escape in Time apart is that uh, we are local um, in Barrington, so it's really close. You know, other escape rooms are probably like a 20 minute drive away. Um, and we have six rooms, so you can keep on coming back whereas other places only have two or three. And I think our rooms are the coolest. We have such a wide variety of rooms, whether that be the six different themes or the various different difficulties, as well as you can have a party from two people all the way to 12 people. So there's just so much variety that anybody can have a good time here. Escape in Time is very unique in that it's more about technology than just simple locks. You come here with a group, like your friends or your family, and it's really fun to be able to solve all the puzzles and all the puzzles work towards a common goal of escaping the room. My favorite part of playing an escape room is just getting to be a part of an experience that you wouldn't normally get. So you can be a prison inmate for an hour, or you can be an archaeologist for an hour, and just see how you would do in that situation. I think the best part of playing an escape room with a bunch of your friends is because you get to see a different side of your friends. You know, they act a certain way when you're hanging out in other places. If you play an escape room, uh, some people have the tendency to uh, show their true colors, if you will. My number one tip is just to communicate. Make sure you're with a group of people that you think can all uh, gel together really well and just uh, work together as a team. So we are located at 485 West Northwest Highway in Barrington, it's just down the street from uh, McDonald's. And our phone number is 847-381-7000. Uh, and you can also log on to our website at escapeintime.com. The new Escape in Time looks really fun. 
It sure does, Sam. And one last announcement. Snowflake leader applications are due this Thursday. You can find them on the Broncos Committed website and make sure you get them submitted by tomorrow. Well, that's all we have for today, Barrington. I'm Chris Coleco. And I'm Sam Lyon. And we hope you have a great rest of your week.